San Diego veteran called Team 10 after he received personal and private information belonging to another vet. And he told Team 10 troubleshooter Kristen Severance this is a huge breach of privacy. Kristen. Yeah, so this is the packet of information received by that San Diego veteran. He told me what's in this packet is an example of what's wrong with the VA. Adam Noak's job in the Army was to give veterans one final honor. He was a member of the Old Guard and would perform ceremonies at Arlington National Cemetery. Now, a veteran himself, he believes he was disrespected by the VA. The organization that's supposed to be looking out for me, that's supposed to take care of me as a veteran, has completely violated my trust. Noakes filed a disability claim in 2011 after complications from two surgeries. If there's problems that emerge later on in life from this this disability, the VA will take care of it medically. If I have to cover that expense on my own, that could really derail our entire family. This month, he received a letter that the VA office in Huntington, West Virginia, was handling the claim. I was appalled when I read it. Appalled because mixed in with Adam Noak's paperwork was all the very personal and private information of another veteran. Social security number, his full name, his full address, his telephone number, the disabilities that he was claiming, the dates of his service. Noakes also worried how many others were going through the same thing. I think it's an indication of how the VA is a complete mess right now. A Center for Investigative Reporting review of the VA's performance data reveals chronic errors committed in up to one in three cases. The VA has their own numbers. They've acknowledged they make mistakes on 14% of disability claims. It's an organization that we want to believe in, it's an organization that we think should be good, but the system is completely overrun. Noakes called the VA about his complaint and said the woman who answered the phone seemed alarmed. She told me that someone would contact me to tell me how to destroy the document or to take it from me, and I'm still waiting. The day after I called the VA and told them about Noak's problem, a privacy officer contacted him and offered him free credit monitoring for the next year and also the other veteran that received the wrong information. Right, right. So did this happen to anyone else? According to the VA, this was just a single incident privacy breach. They said it was not a system wide problem, but just looking at the statistics, you can tell people are frustrated with some other issues going on there. It's so. hard to think it would just be isolated. Exactly. All right. Thank you, Chris. Sure.